And Ray is coming out of the bullpen to make another appearance in this series during the regular season. He was darn near unhittable, Rick Suckler. Look at that. 0.89 ERA will probably just be in to face the first two hitters, and then you go to the right hand. Katze trying to put it in play, hitting that hole. Castillo down, spins, throws, and gets it. Nicely done by Luis Castillo. One man out here in the seventh for Oakland. Here's Milton Bradley, one for three with a home run. The A's have one three game sweep in the history of their postseason. It was 1981, the so called division series then, when they swept Kansas City in the second of two halves because of the extended players' strike. Oakland won the first half, Kansas City winning the second half. Of course, lately, as the bullpen continues to be active for Minnesota, lately, Oakland in the division series has had all sorts of problems to put it mildly that's in for a strike. Well it's easy to tell that they've struggled the little that we have seen of their closer Joe Nathan. You're talking about Minnesota streets become an everyday player for Oakland in this series. The 2 1 to Bradley swing and a high fly ball left center field but plenty of room here. Hunter cruises over for the catch. Two down. Well, they had a great ball club. Ended up beating the San Francisco Giants, but those last couple of years, last years of the '80s, led by Tony Larusa, one World Championship. Here's Frank Thomas, the big herd, one for three. So it has been 5,840 days since the A's last won a postseason series. Well, and that goes without saying. Ever since you know Billy Bean has always had teams that have done extremely well during the season but still what's amazing is under his watch they have yet to win a postseason series but it looks as if they're on the verge right now up by two in the seventh inning wide on Thomas Eric Chavez who's had a real good day on deck almost an unintentional intentional pass here you thought it was going to be a free shot there you go they're just going to go ahead and put him on Reyes staying in the game obviously to face the left handed hitting Chavez on deck crowd doesn't like it although that's pretty commonplace came in with one hit in his last 30 playoff at bats ball one well we talk about what he's done offensively today but as you mentioned OB defensively he saved one or two runs and again that doesn't show up in the box score but that's the same as driving in one or two on the corner back to that home run swing in the second inning again just as we saw with Milton Bradley it's about getting extension and Eric Chavez breaking out in a big way after going one for 30 in postseason at bats with that monstrous home run you know in talking to Eric he was telling me that the look I'm not getting the base hits but it's I, I feel good and I'm just being too aggressive I'm trying to make the base hit happen instead of letting the pitcher come to me and getting a pitch I can drive. He had swung at some pitches over his head in Minnesota out of the zone. He just needs to zone the ball up, get it over the plate, let his bat do the work. The 2 1. Just a little wide, perhaps downstairs too far. 3 and 1. Let's check out K zone. Well, he's doing exactly what he told you he needed to do, laying off that breaking ball out of the strike zone. The last two have been in the same location. You got to figure Reyes is not going to give in. He's going to try to get him to chase that breaking ball again. Thomas at first. In there for strike. Three and two. You got to look breaking ball, don't you? I mean, well, that's what I'm going to say that, you know, everybody's, wow, it's a fastball. How could you not do that? Or breaking pitch. It's, but he's looking for something off speed and hopes that Denny Reyes makes a mistake and he hangs it and then he can hit it. You throw that pitch right there, heck, you're not looking for it. No reason to swing at it. You still have one more strike. Thomas gets a head start. There's a ground ball to first behind the bag, but foul. So Chavez will swing again here, and Thomas will head on back to first. 
know, hitting is is a lot of guessing, and it's it's not just random guessing; it's educated guessing. And in a situation like Eric Chavez just had with the three-one count, he was looking, guessing for a certain pitch. He didn't get it. The good hitters don't pull the trigger, lay off, know they have another strike. The ones that struggle a bit, they'll swing at it, get themselves into trouble. And Gerald Perry, a big reason why this Oakland A offense has been selective and been productive when they needed to be. That's the key phrase when they need to be the pitch. Swing a high fly ball to right deep into the corner. Dyer will watch it go out of play. Seventh inning in Oakland. The A's closing in on a sweep of the Minnesota Twins in this American League Division Series. It's baseball outdoors. The Twins and the A's from the Coliseum. Rick Sutcliffe, Duke Castiglione, Eric Harris, and Dave O'Brien with you. Gerald Perry talking about the strategy along with the players saying offensively for Oakland forget stats just score one more run than your opponent patient does not mean taking pitches three two again almost hit him and he will take ball four so back to back free passes here one intentionally by Reyes Pick. and Jesse Crane out of the pen for the twins untouchable down the stretch for Minnesota Peyton one for three. Ground ball sharply hit, knocked down by Mornod, rolls across the foul line, he flips, and everybody's safe. The base is loaded up for the Oakland A's. The Twins should be out of the inning, but again, a mishandled ground ball. And they're all filled up with two down in the seventh. As they face elimination, and here's Nick Swisher. He is 0 for 3, but there's no place to put him. We got a, a little cross up there between Maurer and Crane big time. And the only way Maurer could have caught this ball if it was he's looking fastball and he gets something soft. It was a curveball. If he's looking for a curveball and gets a fastball, this ball would have gotten away and another mistake would have been made. You know, almost a strike there, as you see him go up to begin with, thinking he he knew what he put down. He put down fastball. Crane just didn't know what the signs were there. Now they go out and get him right. Well, this does not like look like the Minnesota Twins that won the division. They're tight. They're still tight. That's a strike. Definitely the fastball there at 96. One and one. Well, it's almost a mentality out in the field right now for the Twins. It's okay if it's hit to me, don't screw it up, don't screw it up. Instead of a positive way of looking at it as I'm going to make the play, I'm going to make the play. Thomas, Chavez, and Peyton filling the bases. And that's on the edge of the plate for a strike. Tough pitch, and it's one and two, but let's see what K Zone has to say. Take a look at how well it was caught. Look at that ball being caught and kept just above the knees. I mean, that's a huge difference to have a one and two count instead of two one. And Maurer catching it so deep in the pocket to buy that strike. He's unbelievable. Base is filled. Rounded foul and in pain. Swisher as he collapses around the plate, fouling that one off his foot. What's that feel like? Well, as a hitter, you just hate to have that happen because you hit a ball off your shin or your ankle and you start feeling that and it's just thumping. It's going boom, 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 boom. And then you've got to go in and face another pitch. And as a pitcher, I always felt that the pitcher would want to come back with a similar pitch right in the same spot because as a hitter, all you're thinking right now is, I am not wearing another one off my foot. And, and pitchers are mean. Those mean I'm guessing I'm guessing Swish does that a lot because seeing the pad down there. I think of Jermaine Dye. Oh yeah, well, one division oh. every time I see that. Swisher back in. Here comes the one two. He left it wide. You, know, you can talk about his 250 average. That's not good. But his on base percentage was outstanding. A lot of walks and a walk in this situation right here creates another run. Well sixth in the American League with 96 walks and that says something about your ability to go deep in the count and anytime you can go deep in the count you'll get an opportunity to hit. 
ninety seven but missing again and now it's three and two. The runners will be on the move with two down. And for Ron Gardenhire and the Minnesota Twins the game is coming down perhaps to this pitch. And, and the forget, series as well. And don't forget the way Frank Thomas got on base was an intentional walk. That was two out. And nobody on. Well, he's gone. It's down low for ball four. That will force in a run. Here comes Frank Thomas. Five to two, Oakland. Walk. This Oakland Athletics team tired of hearing about 2001 and 2003 and their inability those teams to close out. Well here they are trying to run the table on the twins bases reloaded and Scudero takes a strike. He's been Mr. Clutch in this series for the A's RBI double today. Well and really this at bat right here can effectively end the twin twin season. He gets a base hit. It's basically game over. Wide again. One ball and one strike. Once again to mention it. The last four postseason series the A's have played. They've gone 0 and 9. And trying to eliminate an opponent. This just feels like a, a different A's team. They believe it is. Confidence is sky high in the stands too. The right hander with a 1 1 pitch. Check swing and it's in there for a strike on Scudero. Just painting that outside corner with good velocity. But he had two strikes on Swisher and lost him. The A's have scored a run and have loaded the bases a couple of times in the inning without the benefit of a hit. Three walks and an error. Line drive right field into the corner, slicing. Fair ball! Chavez is in. Peyton is in. Swisher rounding third. He slides in safe. They're chanting for Marco Scudero in Oakland. Jimenez takes it outside. All four runs, by the way, so far unearned. Racky has seen the end, and maybe the end of the Minnesota Twins season, as terrific as it has been. Looks to be dying here in Oakland in game three. On the corner for a strike. Again, warming up the submariner for Minnesota. And again, no Joe Nathan. A non factor. One of the great closers in baseball. Cut on and missed. Four strike three. That's the end of the inning. But it's an inning that sees the crowd go wild as the A's score four times and open up an eight to two lead at the end of seven.